an overnight break-in at the firehouse. I received a phone call from my assistant chief that we had been broken into. More than $40,000 in firefighting equipment and rescue tools gone. Thieves broke into the Mountain View Fire Protection District Station on Crow's Landing Wednesday night. This is the compartment where we had our extrication tools. We had our cutters and our spreaders and our ram here and uh, our portable the unit itself that, that um, charges those units was here. Here's a photo of what those extrication tools look like. One of them, better known as the Jaws of Life, is a piece of equipment used to cut open cars and free people from a mangled mess in an accident. These extrication tools alone, the chief says, are worth about $35,000. Also stolen, some hoses, a unit that powers their airbags, a 12-inch circular saw, and a portable lighting system. It has a Honda generator on it, so that's a little bit more common. But uh, we do have our, we don't have a, we had some stickers on them, the same Mountain View Fire Protection District with our phone number. Of course, those can be taken off, but uh, we do have them, everything labeled. Chief Mello says that they have a small department with 100% of their firefighters being volunteers who respond from their homes. So we don't have a big budget that we work with. So that that amount alone, the $40,000 or more that we've lost in equipment, it's, it's a third of our budget, if not more. And so it does set us back. In Stanislaus County, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.